I'm going to very quickly go over how to uh, create a new column uh, in a table in Excel that looks up uh, another table for a matching cell and then takes information from another column and puts it in your table. Now that probably didn't make much sense. What I mean is, I've got two tables here, uh, name and I. Uh, this one has name and ID, this one has user and email. Uh, these two columns are the same really, in fact I'll call this one name. And what I want to do is add a new column here called ID, which looks up for any cells which are the same in this table and this table, and will put their ID in here. Uh, so what I will do is just zoom uh, a bit. Here we go. So uh, you'll have much more complicated tables than this, because in this example I could just write in five, six. Uh, these ones don't match. So I could just write them in. But you'll probably have lots of uh, tables. You might even have them on di different sheets. That doesn't matter as long as they're in the same workbook. This will work. Uh, so it's very, very easy. You just click in the cell, like the first cell, uh, and you want to put in a function to put equals, and then type in V lookup, and then open bracket, and over here uh, it'll tell you the things you need. So the first thing you need is the lookup value. So that's the thing that you want to look for uh, in your other table. So you can just click David. That's what I want to look for, uh, and then comma and then the next value is table array so that's the table you want to look for David in so I'll select this one now I'll just select I've just selected them like that uh, if it's if you can't just select it because you've got a massive table you can just write the values in here so uh, it might be a1 to be 700 uh, that would be a bit hard to just to just grab all that so you can just write it in here it doesn't matter um, the one thing to remember here is that this value that you're looking for here, I think, has to be in the first column here. So if name and ID were switched round here, I would have to switch them back uh, because, because I'm looking for David, David has to be in the first column here. Uh, anyway, press comma, and now I'm looking for the column index number. So this is the index number of the uh, Thing that I want to put in here so it's ID I want to put in here which is the second uh, column so I'll just put two and finally you want to put comma and you want to type in false uh, I believe what this does the range lookup uh, is it if it's true then Excel does kind of a best guess that's what I believe it does uh, everybody says leave it as false. Even 99% of the time you'll leave it as false. And then close the bracket, press enter, and you'll see it's looked it up. Five, five, uh, and you can just drag this down. Five, six, and the others don't exist in the table. Uh, and that's it. You can see as I've updated it, it's updated that. Grand. Uh, if they're in separate sheets, you just have to put uh, look up where where you're looking up. You could just put in here sheet two and the ranges. Uh, so you might want to let's see if this works. Is that how you do it? Yeah. So I guess you might want to make it an array by putting dollar signs in. I'm not sure that's important. Uh, somebody in the comments can tell me. But I found this very easy, very quick. 